Hi mga kakordates! It's me, Sir Young, and welcome to my channel. Since tagulan na naman, and you're wondering bakit merong clouds tuwing umuulan. So, for today's topic, we are going to discuss the cloud formations, and it was requested by Sir Maki Gaga. From Thailand, hi sir, hi also kay Sir Reggie Munoz, hi sir, kay Ron Kirk Payot, hi to Aldrin, Carissa, Melanie, Charles, and kay Dexter. Hi sa inyo. Sunlight causes water to evaporate into the atmosphere. This air containing a water vapor is heated around the surface of the earth and rises. As the air rises, it cools and the water vapor condenses on some form to particulate matter such as ash, dust, or smoke to form clouds. And that process called condensation. Now, balikan natin ang water cycle or the hydrological cycle. So, first is evaporation. So, sa evaporation, see for instance, nandun po tayo sa lake. Now, in the presence of the sunlight, matatamaan po ng sikat ng araw yung water na nandun sa lake. Yung water po nandun, iinit po siya. At since uminit na po siya, so, nag-i-evaporate na po yung tubig. So, the liquid turns into gas and that is a vapor. So, in a form of vapor po siya. So, yung water vapor arises until such time it cools. So, lalamig po siya and then the water vapor condense. So, that is condensation process. So, kapag nag-condense na po yung water vapor at rumami na po yung na-collect na droplets, so lalaki po yung clouds until such time na bibigat po yung clouds. And then, doon na po papasok ang pangatlo which is the precipitation, babagsak na po ngayon ang ulan. Kaya, umula na po. So, yun po ang precipitation. So, alam nyo na na ang best example ng condensation is a cloud. So, what is a cloud? So, a cloud is a large collection of a very tiny droplets of water or ice crystals. So, what do clouds tell us? So, the presence of the clouds in the sky is one type of signal to meteorologists that there will be changes in the weather. Predicting the weather requires understanding of the different types of clouds. To better communicate and understand the many cloud formations in the sky, the meteorologist... Uh, the meteorologist... Uh, uh. Meteorologists identify clouds based on the five basic cloud characteristics. First is the altitude at which they occur. Second is the density. Third is the color. Fourth is the shape. And last is the degree of cover. From this information, we can now identify the three basic cloud types and seven other common cloud types. Are you ready? Clouds can be classified by some simple but subjective criteria that also provide information on the atmospheric condition. One form of classification is based on the appearance or form. Using these characteristics, you can now identify the three basic cloud types, the stratus, the cirrus, and the cumulus. Stratus clouds are thin, sheet-like clouds. They are layered with some rippling and cover large portions of the sky. They are frequently gray and thick. Stratus clouds are formed when the air is forced up slowly. Cirrus clouds are thin white clouds with a feathery appearance. They are the highest of all clouds forming at heights of 30,000 feet or more above the Earth's surface. Cirrus clouds are formed by ice crystals. They generally occur in fair weather and point in the direction of air movement at their elevation. Cirrus clouds are usually the first sign of approaching storm. They are commonly known as the mare's tail because they are shaped like a tail of a horse. 
Sometimes, when the sun is just below the horizon, aligned ice crystals reflect light from the crystal faces. We see the cumulative effect of millions of reflections of this sunlight as a sun pillar. Cumulus clouds are flat-based billowing clouds with vertical doming. After the top of the cumulus clouds have a cauliflower-like appearance. Cumulus clouds are most prominent during the summer months. Cumulus or fluffy clouds form when the air is forced up rapidly and therefore rises higher. So clouds can also be classified based on their altitude. So there are three categories of the clouds height. The high clouds, the middle clouds, and the low clouds. High clouds or the noctilucent clouds is 5 to 13 kilometers above the ground. So they are the highest clouds in the sky. However, they are not associated with weather like the rest of the clouds. So sa high clouds, meron pong cloud types. The cirrus, the cirrus stratus, at saka the cirrocumulus. Cirrus clouds are made of ice crystals and look like long, thin, wispy, and white streamers high in the sky. So, cirrus clouds are often seen during fair weather. Cumulus clouds are small, rounded puffs that usually appear in a long rows high in the sky. Cirrocumulus are usually white but sometimes appear gray. When these clouds cover a lot of the sky, they can look like the scales of a fish which is it is called mackerel sky. Cirrocumulus are common in winter and indicate fair but cold weather. Cirrostratus clouds are high, thin, sheet-like thin clouds that usually cover the entire sky. The clouds are so thin that the sun or moon can sometimes shine through. Cirrostratus clouds usually comes 12 to 24 hours before rain or snowstorm. Next is the middle clouds. So between 2 to 7 kilometers above the ground or 7,000 to 23,000 feet. Dapat tandaan guys, kapag sinabi natin middle clouds, ang kanyang prefix po is alto. So there are two types of clouds in the middle clouds, the alto stratus at saka the alto cumulus. Alto cumulus clouds are mid-level, grayish white with one part darker than the other. Alto cumulus clouds usually form in groups and are about one kilometer thick. If you see alto cumulus clouds on a warm, humid morning, there might be a thunderstorm by the late afternoon. Alto stratus clouds are mid-level gray or blue-gray clouds that usually cover the whole sky. The sun or moon may shine through an alto stratus cloud but will appear watery or fuzzy. If you see altrustratus clouds, a storm with continuous rain or snow might be on its way. If the rain hits the ground, then the cloud has become a nimbus stratus. Next is the low clouds. So from the surface to 2 km above the ground. And there are three cloud types. The stratus, the stratocumulus, and the nimbus stratus. Stratus clouds are low and have a uniform gray in color and can cover most of all of the sky. Stratus clouds can look like a fog that doesn't reach the ground. Light mist or diesel is sometimes falling when stratus clouds are in the sky. Stratocumulus clouds are low, lumpy, and gray. Sometimes they line up in rows and other times they spread out. Only light rain, usually diesel, falls from stratocumulus clouds. To distinguish between the stratocumulus and the altocumulus cloud, point your hand toward the cloud. If the cloud is about the size of your fist, then it is stratocumulus clouds. 
Nimbus stratus clouds are dark gray, have ragged bases, and see it low in the sky. Nimbus stratus clouds are associated with continuous rain or snow. Sometimes, they cover the whole sky and you can see the edge of the clouds. Meron din po tayong tinatawag na unusual clouds. So, there are, these are the clouds that form in unique ways and are not grouped by heights. So, there are three types of unusual clouds. The lenticular clouds, the Kelvin Helmholtz clouds, and the Mamatus clouds. Lenticular clouds or Lee wave clouds form downwind of an obstacle in the path of a strong air current. The cloud evaporates on the downwind side, so it appears stationary even though the air is moving through the cloud. Lenticular clouds are lens-shaped and often look like flying saucers. Elvin Helmholtz clouds look like breaking waves in the ocean. These clouds form when there is a difference in the wind speed or direction between two wind currents in the atmosphere. This photograph of Kelvin Helmholtz clouds was taken in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. Mamatus clouds are pouches of clouds that hang underneath the base of the cloud. They are most often associated with cumulonimbus clouds that produce very strong storms. These clouds usually form during the warm months and are formed by descending air in the cloud. Mamatus clouds are sometimes described as look like a field of tennis balls or melons or like female human breasts. In fact, the name Mamatus comes from the Latin word mama or breast. Sir, eh, ano to? Ano din to? Anong tawag doon? So that is contrails clouds. Jet aircraft flying at high altitude often produce a trail or condensed vapor called a contrail. The mixing of a hot exhaust gases from the engines with cold outside air causes ice crystals to form on particles in the exhaust. If the humidity is high, a contrail may stay visible as cirrus-like clouds for many hours. And that is a cloud formations. Now, it's your turn. you've learned a lot in this video and if you like this video please don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for the updates goodbye mga cordates and see you sa ating next vlog